Hello, I'm Frost and uh, welcome to this Homeworld 2 Remastered video where I'm going to be completing Mission 3, Sarah. Okay, so we've uh, started the mission. We're going to be given our objectives. Recon elements have been identified. The shipyard is located here and is under attack. Incoming transmission. Attention, Pride of Agar. This is Captain Elohim of the shipyard Nabal. We are sustaining heavy damage and request immediate assistance. The shipyard must be defended. Right, so we have our primary objective. We must establish a forward resource operation. Engineering reports they are now able to build mobile refineries to help resourcing operations. Okay, and our secondary objective is obviously to mine to collect for resources. Resources are going to be really, really important for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build one of these resource collectors. So if you had one, in fact, no, what I'm going to do before then is I'm immediately going to send my uh, collectors to harvest. Now, as you can see, it's suggested that we go up somewhere up here, but there's actually some rocks nearby. So you're better off sending them straight there uh, as that way you start collecting resources immediately, which is going to be kind of important if you didn't have any resources to start with. And so you can build that mobile refinery. So I have, so I'm going to just set that underway. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mothership and I'm going to move it all the way. Up, oh, no, stop. Group 10 copies. Collection confirmed. There we go. So once again, I'm going to make sure I selected mothership. my mothership. And I'm going to mothership. send it all the way up to the carrier. Now in Homeworld 1, you couldn't move your mothership. In Homeworld 2, you can. Really important that you do that as you'll be able to deploy much closer. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gunship, my Pulsar gunships, which are going to be used against frigates, and I'm going to move them into the fray. Strike group there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my interceptors, but rather than fly them straight up and have them fly ahead on their own, uh, I'm going to hit the G key for guard, and I'm going to tell them to guard one of the gunship squadrons. And now what's going to happen is the interceptors are going to slow down and keep pace with the gunships. So then all of my units are going to arrive at the same time. Uh, this is something you're going to be doing quite a lot in Homeworld 2 uh, because otherwise your forces are going to get split and then your various units are not going to be able to back each other up properly. Okay, now my resource collector has been, uh, sorry, my lower refinery has been built. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a guard and I'm assign it to one of the resource collectors. And then that way, as the resource collectors are moved around, then the mobile refinery will just follow them. Now the other thing you'll see as well is as my mothership is moving, because I haven't given the orders to the bombers and they're still in their kind of undocked position, they naturally just move with the, uh, with the mothership. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep an eye on what's going on. So there we go, this group's moving forwards. We're not in too much of a rush. We're okay because the shipyard has got quite a lot of tank on it and we'll be able to handle it. Now you can see there's a frigate up the top here and the Pulsar gunships are gonna be focusing on the frigates and then our interceptors are going to be focusing on their, their light craft. So we're almost in range now. Yeah, that's nearly there. Okay, heavy missile frigates, they're, they're not tanky at all, uh, but they do loads of damage. So normally when you've got frigates to shoot at, and you've got a choice of like assault frigates and heavy missile frigates, you want to take out the heavy missile frigates first, as they do the most damage. Right, now my, my guys should be pretty much here. There we go. So I'm going to do three for Pulsar gunships and I'm going to send them to attack there. There we go. And then my interceptors, I am just going to put an F2 and put them into aggressive mode and then they should be dealing with all of these guys here. There we go. I've still got some of my elite gunships that I got from the... Uh, from the previous level so as you can see they fly a lot slower so by using the guard we actually kept everything together as a unit all right so the gunships are going off there we go they're going to go and take out this heavy missile frigate and they should do pretty short work of it all right in the meantime i'm going to just check the mother ships moving forwards our resource collectors are doing their thing my bombers are on standby okay that's all looking fine engaging targets of opportunity Right, and now we're just in a, a clean-up mode. And as you can see, there's not too much left. What we'll do is we'll get our gunships to focus on the corvettes as uh, they will be more successful than trying to shoot the fighters. Right, so first stage is looking fine. Looks like we uh, have been defeated. 
Incoming transmission available. from the shipyard in the ball. Thanks for the help. We've been battling bigger raids and have sustained heavy damage to all our systems. We require immediate repairs, fleet. New research and build options now available. Right, so what Recommend we've discovered now. Researching resource collector repair ability. This will right, enable us to use resource collectors to repair the shipyard. Thank you. Resource collectors uh, can now do repairs. So you don't have repair ships like you had in Homeworld. In Homeworld 2, your resource collectors do the job. Now, they're actually rubbish at it, okay? They are absolutely appalling. So you really only want to be using your resource collectors to do repairs when it's required for a mission. Otherwise, there we go. So it's under the, uh, the sort of funny little low um, diamond shape. So we're going to hit repair. And then as I have plenty of units as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a resource collector just to do the repairs. Now it wants you to actually send all the resource collectors there, but you don't want to do that. You want to leave your resource collectors to be collecting rocks so you've got resources and just send one resource collector to it to do the job. All right, you're not in a rush at this point because until you've done the repairs, you're not actually kind of triggering, triggering the next event. Resource collector um, so upgrades complete. I would actually repair use this to build enabled. some more interceptors and some more, to begin repairs some more on the shipyard. Right, <laughs> and some more um, interceptors and some Resource more uh, gunships. So I'm going to do that very quickly. I'm going to go and select, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build five Production interceptors, underway. and I'm going to build uh, Production three gunships. That should do. Right, my mobile collector down here. I'm not going to assign him to group 10 at the Reporting. moment because I don't want him to be dragged off if I move my uh, my resource collectors to a new zone. En route. Repairs initiated. There we go. So what I've done is I've clicked on my resource Enemy collector and then just right-clicked. The Vager are using probes to pinpoint our location. An attack is imminent unless the probes are destroyed. Right, so we need to destroy these probes. Roger. So I'm going to select that group and send that interceptor Striker squadron there. Now, it doesn't show it, but I know that there's, there's this probe down here as well. Confirmed. So I'm going to send a group of interceptors Order. down here. And then I'm also going to click Ready. one more group and just send it near Striker the mothership. As that sometimes there is a probe there as well. Okay, our resource collectors, that's all going to run out now. So we're going to have to move our resource collectors up to these rocks. Now, what's going on? Are these other? Okay, they're, they're taking care of interceptor that. Interceptor squadron complete. Right, my interceptors are being built. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my group ten, my resource collectors. There's you can see there's a bit here. of height on that, so you need to click and shift click. Hang on, let me do that Copy. again. So right click, shift click, give it a bit of height, right and set. there we go. So they're heading into the right direction. Right, so that probe's been taken care of. I've got a set of interceptors here in case the probe oh, shows up. There we go, there's a probe right there. So let's take those interceptors Copy. and shoot Great that probe straight away. Okay, there doesn't seem to be a probe here. Uh, that's, uh, I've, when I've done this level before, it's um, they sometimes put a probe near the mothership. So we've got those guys there. So what we're going to do Copy. is we're going to assign Enemy multiple hyperspace signatures detected. Bigger forces have arrived. All units to combat stations. Right. So I'm going to assign my interceptors, and I'm also going to send my bombers straight away onto this carrier. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I've got some new uh, interceptors, which are here, and so I'm going to copy. Group one, I'm going to select those guys as well. Right. So I'm going to send my interceptors in straight into attack. Prepare for uh, so they don't Ooh, go for my resource collectors. I'm also going to send my gunships in. As, am I going to send my gunships facility. in? Yeah, I'm going to send my gunships Gun in as well. Will allow us to defend vulnerable resource operations. All right, so we have the ability now to build gun platforms, uh, which is that one there. So we're going to uh, build that facility. Anyway. We probably won't use gun platforms on this. So I don't think it's absolutely necessary. Uh, especially as we're moving the mothership right up next to the shipyard, so we'll be able to deploy uh, straight on top of them. Right, so let's, what's going on with the... These right guys are not bow, engaging, please. so there we go. Yeah, I need to protect my bombers. So once I build some interceptors, I might build some more bombers, as I think they're going to be uh, 
They're going to be targeted. I'm going to make sure those guys stay alive. Alright, so I'm going to put an F2 on my uh, interceptors to make sure they just split up and just start taking out these guys. No problem. Right, so there we go. So, what's happening? There's now, you see, I think I may have built... Yeah, so I've built the maximum number of interceptors that I can. So there you go. So I had to cancel that to make sure the pulse or gunships are being built. So this was something I mentioned in one of my previous videos, that if you build the maximum of your squadrons, uh, then you can't build, it, it just stops the build keep. So you have to keep an eye on that. So I'm going to uh, make some more bombers. I think that's going to come in much more handy. New so after the gunships, I'm going to build, I'm going to try and build, I'm going to build four bomber sets to see what happens. All right, I'm going to bring back, so I'm going to dock all of my stuff. As right now, there's nothing on grid, uh, so it makes sense for me to just dock everything up and uh, just get some repairs done on them so that they're all healthy for the next wave. Okay, mothership is almost there. Yeah, it's uh, almost in position. Now, as I said before, by having the mothership right next to the shipyard, as and when it produces new units, if the battle's going on around the shipyard, they will automatically engage. So I, d I don't have to focus quite so much on making sure that I sign in groups as soon as they undock. They will just engage and I can worry about assigning groups later. So that's all looking fine at the moment. Got some more Pulsar gunships being built. Uh, so there we go. So these two are Pulsar, so let's add those Standing to the group. Group three, reinforced. There we go, so I've built that group up. Locking signal green. Right. All repairs completed. We have basic power to all systems. Construction of a carrier was underway before we were attacked. The shipyard has transferred control of the carrier to us. It is equipped with a frigate facility. Recommend building frigates to strengthen the fleet. New build options are now available. All right, so we can now build frigates, and as you can see, that, that one single resource collector did its job. I have no idea where it's gone. Ah, oh, there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the group and send it off to harvest. Right, now our carrier, uh, which we can select here by clicking on these little arrows keys to the side, can uh, build flat frigates. So what we're going to do is we're going to build at least one, two, three, three of them. We don't have any resources at the moment, so as and when, hopefully they'll get built. I spent all my resources on my gunships and interceptors. Uh, what we will also need to do is in the research, uh, sorry, in the build on the Pride of Hagara, we want to build Production frigates there as underway. well. That's going to come in really handy. Okay, now let's just see what's happening with my resource collectors. They should be busy. Yeah, so we're going to take... Right, that resource collector has actually found some resources right next to the mothership, so that can stay down there. And we have, still have plenty of resources up there. And have we got the mobile refinery? Is that the issue? Has the mobile refinery been shot? Yeah, so it looks like I may have lost my mobile refinery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send all of my collectors down here because otherwise they have to fly all the way back to the mothership in order to be able to, to provide some supplies. So there you go. Uh, I know my mobile refinery is there. They just seem to be very, very slow in, uh, in doing that. But anyway, I might as well keep them close. Uh, then they'll be protected. Fleet, we have multiple hostiles inbound. Repeat, the Vega are attacking. The Vega right. are using infiltration frigates to board the shipyard. If they succeed, we will require marine frigates to recapture it. The shipyard must not fall into Vega hands. Build marine frigates immediately. Okay, we only need the marine frigates Supporting if we actually use units. control of the shipyard. New so what we're going to do is we're going to use our gunships to attack the frigates. Okay, our interceptors can just focus on the assault craft. And we're going to focus one infiltrator frigate at a time. So there we go. So that one's down. We're then going to move on to the next one. And we're going to get... And we're going to put a guard on our gunships. All right, so that way our interceptors are going to protect our gunships. Now we've got another gunship group there. So we're going to add that one as well. All right, and we're just going to get it to focus. Sensors detect incoming Vega reinforcements. Eliminate these carriers to prevent the Vega from building more infiltration frigates. 
Okay, so we need to get our bombers into, uh, into play. And we need to get them to attack these. There we Strike go. So we're going to send the bombers straight onto one of the carriers. Okay, and then we're going to focus back down here. And make sure the gunships are taking care of these frigates. That one's dead. So we're now moving on to this one. Right, and our interceptors are providing coverage to our gunships. Okay, so there's nothing going on down there. I'm going to send my interceptors up to protect the bombers. Alright, and I'm going to leave the gunships to concentrate on these frigates. Okay, we've started building again, so my uh, resource collectors, because they're nearby, they, uh, they're actually starting to mine some rocks now, so that's good. So hopefully we'll get some more bombers and we'll get some flak frigates pretty soon. In the meantime, the gunships seem to be doing the job fine. I'm going to keep them focused. Right, we're going to do an F2 and just make sure they focus on those fighters and then we're going to bring them back. No, we're going to take them, we're going to keep, keep them busy there. All right, we're going to get that infiltrator frigate targeted. And we're going to make sure, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to do a guard on the Escort bombers. Alright, so for now, we really want to get rid of these carriers. Carrier under attack. Alright, so that carrier is being attacked, three. so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly take these guys out. These guys are too Group far away to be able to do attack. anything right now. Flak frigate complete. Right, so that carrier is down. Engine we're going to move on to the next carrier. Alright, and now we're going to move back units. and we're going to focus on that infiltrator frigate. Alright, we have some more bombers. So, what I'm going to do is select group 2. Group two reporting. Strike group under enemy attack. There we go. Make sure reporting. the bombers are all actually group going... Reinforced. ...actually attacking the in. right place. Carrier under attack. Right, that one group under of gunships we're just going to send on its way. We now have a flak frigate. Strike group attack order confirmed. So, in fact, we're going to get the flak frigate to attack the corvettes. The flak, flak frigate is much in. better at attacking gunships. So you really want that focusing on that. We're going to add it to group four. We're going to create group a group four. four. There we go. All right, the bombers seem to be doing a good job up there. Is that what's happening with that carrier? Mothership frigate facility complete. New frigates. Right. Okay, the carrier's almost down. Pursuing targets. Right, group the gunships. We're going to keep them focused on the frigates. Hostile contact. Strike group to battle positions. Strike group receiving fire. Group right, that carrier's almost gone. Contact. Yeah, okay, that carrier's down. So we're going to move our bombers onto the next ship. carrier. And they're getting support as well, obviously, from the interceptors. The gunships are doing, doing a good job of taking care of that infiltrator frigate. Strike group under enemy attack. Okay, that assault frigate's doing nothing Pursuing up there. We're targets. just going to leave it to its own devices. Reporting. Okay, that flak frigate, we're going to keep it. We're going to, we're going to send it over here. In fact, these guys, this guy's almost dead, Roger. so the flak frigate should be able to take him out. So we might as well just Heavy take out the DPS confirmed. off the grid. Right, we're going to make sure. Bomber squadron complete. Group three reports victory. Right. Okay. So there you go. So we've got another Group infiltrator frigate. So we'll send those guys there. Group attack order confirmed. I've got a new set of bombers, so I'm going to add them to the group and group send them over to the carrier. I'm taking hits here. Attacking right. The flak frigate's ship. having a, a little flak one-on-one frigate with that assault complete. frigate. Okay, that carrier's going down pretty quick. Okay, we've got some Corvettes there, so Confirmed. what we're going to do is we're going to move Locked that flat frigate and, let it, and get it Under to focus attack. on those Corvettes, call? protect my Pulsar gunships, which are doing all the work of taking out these infiltrator frigates. Enemy all right, so we're almost there. We, we lost a lot of bombers, a lot of interceptors, but we took out these carriers, and so we were not overwhelmed. Group one, that's it. That's contact. the big thing. You have to take out these carriers. You have to make them your priority. And so, therefore, protecting your bombers with your interceptors is a good move, because then at least then that way you ensure that they're all protected. Drawing heavy okay. Fire. Group three has defeated you. All Vager infiltrators destroyed. The shipyard is secure. We can now build capital class vessels to strengthen the fleet. The Vager are retreating. Eliminate all Vager resistance before they can escape. Right, so if you're low on resources like I am, oh, too late, my guys shot him. I was going to say, dock your staff, 
and uh, try not to shoot the last unit. Detected. Prepare for immediate contact. Yeah, as I recall though, uh, on the next level we get given just loads of resources, so that's not an issue. So there you go, so we've completed that level. Um, we're now moving on to the next one. And I hope you found that useful. And uh, if you have your own particular way of approaching this, uh, then do let me know. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments. The it's always good to share sort of knowledge about these things. And um, I hope your care was useful. The last and of uh, the please uh, follow if you enjoy what I do and uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon for the notifications and all that kind of stuff. I'm getting all the my words mumbled up because I'm getting distracted by the, uh, by, <laughs> by the cinematics that are going on. So I'm going to fade those out. There we go. And uh, what we're going to do now is um, call it a day. So thank you very much and see you on the next one. Bye.